If you have not subscribe, yeah. So today we're gonna be ranking Disney's Halloween movies. I'm gonna probably do just ten, and we're gonna rank them. And y'all gonna like y'all might hate me for these rankings, but I think we can meet halfway. So let's get into it. I'm reading this list and. They consider a lot of these Halloween movies, but they don't seem Halloween to me. But, let's start. So, my number 10 will have to be on this list. It will probably have to be... Y'all might hate me for this. I'm gonna probably do... I don't know, y'all. I don't know. They saying G-Force is a Halloween movie? No, it's not. <laughs> um, I'm probably gonna do from this list I'm looking at. I'm gonna put number five, number 10, Monsters, Inc. Y'all are gonna get mad at me for putting Monsters, Inc. at number 10, but listen, I don't consider that as a Halloween movie. It wasn't really Halloween, so it's like, it's a good movie. I loved it as, as a child, but Monster Inc. never really gave Halloween. I don't know why they have it, like, I'm looking at, like, the Disney's Halloween movies. I don't know why this is on the list. It's not a Halloween movie at all, so it's like, I don't know why it's on here, but that was just what I put on there, like, I'm saying, so that's my number one. I mean, number 10, and my number nine has to be Spooky Buddies. Now, Disney ate up. No, they ate up. They ate up this. They ate it up. They ate it up. They ate it up. But to be in the top five, top six for best Disney movies, Halloween, no. Like, I'm sorry, like, I love the the buddies, like, the, the dog movies, but, like, Spooky Buddies has to go on number nine. Like, has to go on number nine. Sorry. Like, I can't help it. So, that's going to be number nine. Number eight, we're going to do... Number eight, we're going to do The Nightmare Before Christmas. I was low-key scared of this movie when I was a kid. Haven't watched it since. So, it's like... I can't be like, oh my gosh, I watch this like every Halloween. Like, I really don't. So, that's why it's gonna be number eight. You might hate me for this, but it's my list. So, yeah. And then number seven. Number seven, I'm gonna do Maleficent. Number seven, I'm gonna do Maleficent. The reason why I put number, that's good for number seven though, Maleficent. You wanna know why? Because Malef Angelina Jolie, her cheekbones in that movie. Chef's kiss. Like, Maleficent is probably the best live action movie. Mm -hmm. Little Mermaid's gonna get on that ass. But, as of what I've seen, by far the best Disney live action. That's just me, y'all. That's just me, okay? That's just me. Y'all don't have to argue with me. Watch it for yourself. <laughs> Watch it for yourself. It's so good. Then number six for my ranking, I'm gonna put Descendants, the first one, because they consider that as Halloween, I guess. But um, I put that one, it did come out. But, um, I put Descendants as number six because I love the Descendants saga, like the, the one, two, and they're gonna come out with a fourth one. I love Descendants. It's so good. Like, their movies is so good. Like, it's so good. 
if y'all haven't watched Descendants, the one, two, and three ones, watch them on Disney Plus. They're so good. And number five will have to be Descendants two. I'm put two and three for number five, two and three, cause they were good. Cause it's a saga, so I'm put those two together. Those was good, and they ate it up. I love the Descendants, like the three movies. Good, so good. So number four, see, yeah. I don't know why I didn't put this one higher. But number four, we're gonna do Halloween Town, like Halloween Town one, two, three. We're gonna put that at number four. Ah, uh, Halloween Town is not bad. It's it like it's like I like the the Halloween Halloween Town high, like that's my favorite one. But Halloween Town like movies, they are right. I just have to watch them again. But like I don't know why. I just I, that's why I put it at number four because it's not bad. It's just that type of movies like you have to keep watching, watching, watching every year. But those are good. Number three, number three, we're gonna put. Hocus Pocus 1, Hocus Pocus 2. I seen Hocus Pocus 2. That's how you do a reboot. If y'all haven't watched Hocus Pocus 2, watch it. That's how you do a reboot. They did that reboot, that movie so damn well. They gave you some of the old with the new. Chef's Kiss. The Hocus Pocus 1 was good too. Like, it felt like if it went right where they left off and they aced that shit down. They aced it, y'all. They aced it down, y'all. Like, ooh, they aced it. Was this my number three? I think so. But yeah, loved it, those movies, loved it. And then for my number two, I'm gonna put, I'm gonna put two of them. Girls versus Monster. And then it was both sister. The ones where I put two because I only did ten. So and they are in the number two spot. The reason why because Invisible Sister is so underrated. Is Invisible Sister is so damn good. When you always felt invisible, you will get her pain. And for the fact that her sister went through what she went through all her years, cause she her sister turned invisible. She saw what the main like i forgot the sister name but she saw what the main character like the girl went through and she like wow i never would have noticed you know so that movie is good girls versus monster on the other hand steps kiss don't girls versus monster is probably the best the best so far to me of this new age Disney like channel period Halloween movie. That was like the last good one. If you haven't seen it, watch it. It's so good. Olivia Wilde, I think that's her name. I th her real name is Olivia. Olivia had me hello. Like that whole movie ate down. What I'd like to see is a number two. It's too classic. Leave it as that. But it's so that's why I put a number two. I had to. Like it's that good. Like it's that bitch. Like it's so good. The last my first one for my ranking in first place. Y'all already know. It has to be Twitches one, Twitch two. I love Twitches. Them movies, every time I watch it every Halloween season, it feels so fresh. I never met, like, like even with Girls vs. Monsters, like, one thing about Disney is they do so damn good when it comes to Halloween movies. Like, it's their print. They make, like, every single time you watch it, it feels like you're watching it for the first time. I don't, like, I don't know what it is, but, like, that's why I would say if I would rewatch Halloween Town, it would probably feel fresh and I probably would like it now. But, and I was low key scared of it when I was a kid anyway, so I, I bet I'll probably like it now. But, Twitches 1, Twitches 2, 
there would never be any movie like those two. I'm telling y'all, like, ew, they so good. Like, I still want that necklace to this day. Like, it's so good. I want a part three, because Hocus Pocus got a part two. I want a part three for Twitches, because that ending of the alternate ending of Twitches 2, when the mom sister arrived, yeah, I'm gonna need y'all to pick that up where I left off. Put me in it. Um, y'all need to finish what I left off. And yeah, cause tens, tens, y'all, tenth, tenth period. All right, guys, that's my ranking for the top, my top ten like rankings of like Disney Halloween movies. Um. A lot of them weren't like Halloween-ish. I should have just did like a top five, but um, I think I think my ranking was pretty good. I think it was pretty good. I know I put Maleficent very behind, but I don't consider it as a Halloween. As I was looking at the Disney list, like as Halloween movies, I guess that's Halloween, so that's why I put it that low. But I don't care. I like my ranking, and I was just thinking like, what if they would have made like a Spy Kids? Halloween type of movie. I feel like if they would have made that, the friend, like the saga of Spy Kids, would have been up there. They still have time to do it, but like, yeah. Let me know what y'all think of my ranking down below. I love you guys.